Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's talk about the importance of staying up to date. I'm going to talk exactly about what those numbers mean in the version numbers uh, in a little bit, but let's just talk about why I'm doing this tutorial. No, I don't get paid by Adobe to do this. Many of my tutorials are created because of the comments and questions I get from folks like yourself. And I can't believe how many times the answer is just update Premiere Pro. Um, and someone will be on a version that is two or three or even more versions old, and they may not be aware of that. So I'm gonna show you how to check the version, how to, to uh, update it. And also if you're not in a current Adobe user, where to get it. So. Let's first look at how to check the number of the update. So in the help menu of both Mac and Windows, down at the bottom, about Premiere Pro, and you find the about menu in all Adobe applications, right at the top, it's going to show you this particular one is version 14.0.0, and it happens to be build number 572. And the build number, you, and you don't really have to concern yourself with the build. That happens to be the build um, that was considered what's called a golden master, the shipping or the final release version. And while companies are developing software, they, they will be squishing bugs and uh, updating a build usually every day and they're updating. So there were 572 builds uh, of that particular version that went out and that's how many times they change it. So the, the build number, don't worry about it. It's more about the version number. So that you can see is version 14.0.0. Well, what does that actually mean? Well, so 14 is the version number of the whole product at this point. And 0 .0, 0 0.0 means this is the release version with no changes. Once Adobe uh, makes any kinds of changes, then you'll see a 0.1. This usually means bug fixes, but it could also mean a couple of features that didn't make it in time to be shipped in the 14.0 version. Because while Adobe is developing all these uh, features, some won't make it for whatever reason, there's complications or the bugs didn't get fixed in time. So they take it out of the shipping version and it's deferred until later. Well, sometimes we're lucky enough to get that dropped in at a 0.1. Usually it is a bug fix. If there's more fixes that need to be uh, updated, then we go to a, a 14.02. Um, and this is usually more stable than 14.1, and 14.1, 14.01 is usually more stable than 14.0. It doesn't mean that that too many people, oh, the first version's full of bugs. If you read the list of bug fixes, there are hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of bugs that get fixed. So the 14.0 is fine. 14.1 fixes 14.2, and you might even see more 14.0305. And depending on the fixes that are going on and what Adobe has in store for 15, because 14, uh, while 14 is being wrapped up, they, they already know what 15 is and there are certain parts that are being worked on. If there is a, a big enough release with some new features, then you might see a 14.5. And this means that Adobe's thought of this as not big enough to go from 14 to 15, but they think it's enough for a more than just a, a dot release. That's the last dot. So it's not 14.0.5. It's big enough that it's a 14.5 and a lot of companies will do this. After working at Adobe for 17 and a half years, there are no really hard and fast rules, uh, whether it's going to be 15 or 14.5. There, there's no scientific document saying, well, if there's a, is 37 features meet, no. This is a marketing decision. Um, but Adobe really does have a good grasp on the big version numbers. They know where they're going with 15. They have some ideas of 16. So that's how to tell what version you have you should be getting notified. So in your Creative Cloud application, which I'll show you in a second, you get updates of uh, notifications. It won't update automatically because you do get updates. Now, speaking of, of uh, updating, general rule is, and, and this is not for you know casual home projects and YouTubers, but in the big professional world, the rule is 
never update in the middle of a project. And that's true. And with films, you could be working on something for six to 12 months and not updating at all. If everything is working fine, then just leave it alone, wait till the project's wrapped up, then uh, update and, and uh, start working with that and do some tests. Some people will actually run multiple versions at the same time. So let's go have a look at Creative Cloud. Now I do have a whole tutorial on what's new in Creative Cloud Desktop. I'm not gonna go into that. I'm just gonna show you how to check the version and how to turn on notifications. So if we look down here, we'll see, oh, there's Premiere Pro with no version beside it. Well, hover your mouse over for a moment and you'll see version 14.0. So that's gonna show you whatever version you're running there. So you can see Lightroom is 3.1 and on and on it goes. In the gear menu up at the top, and you'll see down here notifications, enable OS notifications uh, for the app updates, syncing in Adobe Fonts. So app updates are right here. So if you turn that on, you'll get a notification in your operating system uh, notification, both Mac and Windows, wherever those things will pop up. You don't have to update, but you'll get that notification. So when I have someone say, well, they're using like two year old software, yet they're paying for Creative Cloud. I have no idea if they have the ability to update, why don't they don't update? So that's what you should really do. Um, is keep those notifications on. And if you're not a Creative Cloud user, you can go to adobe.com and you can view the plans and pricing right there. And stay up to date. It's amazing how many new features are in Premiere Pro. And these aren't just fancy features. Many of these are integral fixes. These are foundational updates to the way the application works that people count on every day, day in, day out. There are so many wonderful, amazing new things that it makes perfect sense to update. But hey, it's completely up to you. If you wanna stay with an old version, um, go ahead. You can't have the new stuff and an old version. Speaking of an old version, I wanna address the CS6 folks out there. If you're staying at CS6 because that's the last version you could buy, great, that's your decision. But you've gotta remember that you are making a conscious decision to do that. And there are, um, the outcome of that is you can't have the new stuff. Adobe's not gonna make a CS6 version that you've paid once and you'll get free updates for the rest. Nobody, no software company does that. So stick with CS6, great, wonderful, but you're not gonna get the new stuff. And this might see obvi seem obvious to a bunch of Creative Cloud users. It isn't, I run into this all the freaking time. CS6 users want the new update, but they don't wanna pay for it. They want all the new stuff, they wanna stay back with new. Oh, mm -mm, doesn't work, doesn't. No one's gonna, uh, not pay you for your work. If you're working, people are expecting get paid. So let me get off my soapbox for a second and uh, get back to this. So that's how to check the updates. That's how to make sure you've got the latest update, when sh you should update, and just take advantage of all the wonderful things you're already paying for as a Creative Cloud subscriber. All right, if you're new to Video Reveal and you have found this informative, please take a moment and subscribe. If you want to support us some more, you can do that through PayPal or through, um, well, through PayPal. There's a link in, the, in this uh, description or on the front of the channel. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to keep you up to date on all the things that are up to date.